Hey guys, we're back with Hey guys, we're back with Mr. Mafia, Mr. CEO. This is this is this is twenty six. It's called I do. It's the angel. I wish I carefully she puts on her face to show everyone here that she is in scare and the corners of her lips tipped up as I watch her put on the act of hers that this woman is so fucking amusing. I know she's scared. I know there's so many things running through her head right now. Prepare on Noya and see her alive. I feel the same in my lips get better as I look at the woman who stands in front of me. Better the D'Angelo, the strongest woman I know. Her gorgeous dark eyes try their best to stay focused on her on our hands to avoid her looking around and racing and risking my risking any free for emotions to be shown. My eyes turn off to behind Bella and I see Lucia gave me a reassuring now telling me that everything is going okay. We just need to get to the to the ceremony and the, and then Bella will, will be named my wife, meaning that if Victor or anyone tries touching or harming even here my wife he wife said I can declare war on them and I have a feeling that this and I have a feeling that and I feeling that this news and I have a feeling that this news will only I, I greet him. Not that I ever let him touch her again but the seconds he fucking tries to take her from me, I will fucking end him. And this is the only way I can kill him once and for all without him, without having the chief family on our asses. If I try to explain that the chief family is, I would say that they are basically the only the people who have control over mob bosses or mafia leaders to keep affairs somewhat peaceful and they ensure the rest and they ensure the rest of the world doesn't find out that this that this side of reality actually exists. They are fucking gods and if I get caught in their games then the death of the Italian mafia game the the death of the Italian mafia is inevitable, so we had to play by the twisted rules that have been created. Then it's fucked up. Yes, them. As now, Adam thoughts when the priest voice goes an octave higher, and I'm not sure show this one of build have tension just thinking about the chief family. Do you, if Vincent D'Angelo take better Lena hair to, to be your love fully with a wife, to cherish the love you two have found for the rest of your life, to sickness and health, with thanks me and my eyes shut to her as I see her suck in a harsh breath before her eyes fall to mine. My tongue pokes on... My tongue pucks on the inside of my cheeks before I, I look away from her eyes to avoid eye contact. Looking at the wall somewhere behind her, I can't look at her. I fucking can't and I hate it. I'm forcing this woman to marry me so I can take my position as the don of the entire mafia. When she feels not the job to f like for me, let alone love. I know she has her own benefits to this marriage, but it, it still hits me like a train named guilt. I do. Well, hell. Marriage is such a beautiful concept. Two people deeply in love with one another as they are really, as they are ready to spend the rest of their life loving and cherishing and cherishing each other, being with each other through bad and good and whatnot, and I fucking wish I had the same 
I wish I had that someone in front of me instead of Ace. I came down about halfway into the ceremony and put up an act. An act that states that I am so happy to be getting married to the so-called man of my dreams. I don't know a single thing about the man who stands in front of me. The, the most I knew is that he is about to rule a fucking mafia in his name. I snap out of my thoughts when the priest starts speaking and looks between Ace and I with a warm smile. Do you, Ace, with the angel, take better in a hair to be your love for your wife to cherish to to cherish the the love you two have found for the rest of your life to sickness and health the priest the priest had the priest looks at Ace and speaks. Ace is judged from mine to the wall. Behind me, the second, the priest starts speaking such a subtle moment that only I would be able to notice no one else sitting in the audience and for it, I want to stab him across the face. I do, he said, with not a he says, with not a drop of emotion of his voice. His wedding has already been horrid, and this man can even look at me. My jaw is locked, and I purposely take my acrylics in, into the skin of his jaw. Acrylics in, 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 into the skin of his hand, and I see you say this twitch in his jaw. Modak, shit, shit, shit. You better lean here, take Vincent D. Angelo to be your lovely with your husband to love and without to love and withhold through health and sickness to forever cherish this love you two have found for the rest of your life. I am turn this cough at the last part more like six months. But no, no if I don't I wish I, I could say that but I don't I deal with it and remind myself how much this man is actually helping me. I do. I bite down on my tongue as people start clapping their hands and I pronounce you husband and wife. You may, you may kiss your bride. I snap at at the ways and I at the ways and and this very moment, I registered the fact I am Mary. Fuck. His eyes widen. He said this bit, and my eyebrows forward when he grabs my hand and pulls me towards him before pulling a gun out of his waistband a second before the rainfall of gunshot go off. Let, let me correct you, but in this very moment, you realize you just Mary, man, who is about to take control of a fucking. Mafia, and that he is a trained and skilled assassin murderer who kills without a who kills without a second thought. Thank you for your amazing insight, Kansi. I really need it, especially when my wedding venue is getting shut up. Does he cover me? It's just before I see cars getting the priest and all the other guests to safety. Ace puts me in front of him, protecting me from the gunshots, and my hands snap up to cover my ears as we both duck and fucking runs toward the door. I came through, what the fuck is going on? I shot over the gunshots, but the only pulls, I shot over the gunshot, but he only pulls me closer with one hand, while the other shoots two men with the gun he's holding. Just two men with a gun he is holding. My jaw is locked and I push open the doors as we fucking run like our life depends on it. If I am speaking for myself, mine definitely does. Cause so they're everywhere. Ace grunts while shooting two men while shooting two more men running down the hallway and I take a deep breath. If I were my paranoid self looks behind us. 
stood. Ace behind us. I warned him of the man with a couple of daggers in his hand running me behind us. Ace muttered something under his breath as he steps and holds me behind him, trying, trying to face the man, and before he could throw a dagger at us, or are not so target, someone behind someone from form behind him kicks the door open and the seer shoots him before Ace could. The second the seer came into sight and let out a breath I didn't know I was holding the I didn't know I was holding she may be the only person I feel fully safe around when I'm with the the angel she runs into the, to the hall with Seth right behind her take her to the estate he talks to the CS she pulls his arms from her waist and Gives me a protective look. I watch him without the gun. Before the seer nods and says something in Italian. I cuss all three of us. Because it's all three of them to freeze on the spot as if they seen a ghost before looking at me. But they confused look while the seer says, do by ace. Looks more angry and then confused before I watch his jaw lock and, and unlock his. And I look, and he looks away from me. All the softness and protectiveness in his eyes never replaced with anger and re resentment. What? What? I asked, looking between the three of them. What the fuck? Did she say that they're all looking at me like that? Nothing. So I quickly dismissed my question before speaking to his. The she just looked at me with an unreadable facial expression like she can't believe what she said herself guys what the hell is going on i grab ace meets my eyes and he glares just to be met with mine i am fucking done playing this character it's fucking annoying and it's not me tell me i try forcing an answer before seeing seth looking around to make sure no one else in the hallway, or the warning in a sort of eye contact. We can we can see it whispered in my eye brought forward as, as I try and figure out what the fuck they're talking about. What does that mean? I couldn't even finish my words before he stepped all over them with his, with his. We talk to people we trust, but, uh, and right now we don't Trust you, he murmurs before nodding for Seth to follow him. I bet I'm to speak, but as such as it pains to admit, I felt a pain in my heart when he said he can't, he, he, he can't trust me. And another when he gives me a look of regret and irritation. What the hell? Let's go to see a whisper, and I let out a deep breath when she walks past me. Telling me to follow her. What the fuck has happened? My eyes linger on Seth and Ace as they walk towards the door, talking in Italian. I stare at the back of my fucking husband as he walks away from me. The dust look of regret he gave me, his words, and even his angry eyes flash in my head before I stuff down all of my questions and turn around. With my hand fist in my, in my dress by my side. And I follow the sea quietly as my breath turns uneven, and I feel goosebumps on my skin. And right now, one question over the other about everything else overrules the need of an answer. The question of being, do they know? And if they do, then this just got a lot worse than it already was. Thanks for watching. See you guys next part of the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next part of the video. Goodbye, guys. Take care.